Okay, reaping here, everybody. Welcome back to the series. Kubis Avengers: The Rise of the Tomb Raider. Last time we got attacked by Trinity. Jacob is currently going Thank around. You. How are you? Talking to people. Dad, be with God, my friend. Okay, look at me. The Lord is your guardian, your protective shade at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor moon by night. The Lord guard your soul from all evil. The Lord guard your going and coming. From now to all time. Rip. Ripperoni. We can, um... It looks like we can talk to a lot of these people. I'm just kind of, like, curious about what's going... Like, what's... What Jacob's gonna do here. What he's gonna say and such. And you two. Are you hurt? I took a round of my leg, but it's clean. I can wait. Is is that you, Jacob? She took a jolt to the head, oh. but she's lucid. I'm keeping an eye on her. All right. Watch his pupils. Don't let him nod off until we can look at him. Of course. Did you say him? <laughs> was that like wrong? What am I gonna find up there, Jacob? It was once a fortress. But like everything, it's fallen into ruin. Many of my people live up there. And they have no idea what's coming. Okay. Yeah, some of these animations aren't that great, are they? It's a little bit weird. Is he gonna talk to them? I guess I should be going then. Be careful up there. You've been a great help to us. And I don't want to lose you. I will. Almost your turn now. Like, wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit funky. Is there anything you need? We'll live. Alright. Well, I, I I guess I shouldn't talk to like every single person here, but yeah. It sucks. It sucks. Um Can we like loot the other guys? Trinity and such? No. Is this where I have to go? No, this is a different place too, okay. Just like I think that was a big box though on this side. I saw this correctly. Not sure if we can get it yet. We can try. Also have a look in here maybe. There's some treasure. Do you need any help? Or not? Most of these men would be dead if you hadn't joined us. Oh, it's a we flashlight. Dead. It's fine. Mm. They tell I didn't do. Uh, be well. Oh, sorry, sorry, there sorry. So, hmm. They tell me you have interest in the past, before the fall. There's something on the desk over there that may interest you. Oh, thanks. I was just about to go there, and then he said, it "Was uh, whatever." Let's just read it. It has been months since the snows of the mountain buried the heart of Katesh. We sent men to search for survivors or food, but none have returned. <sighs> Sounds drift up from the glaciers, but if people still lived entombed inside, I do not know. It could be the shifting ice, but I will be the first to admit, it sounds like the voices of men. Perhaps the ghosts of the Prophet's warriors still patrol the frozen streets. We will send no more of our people inside. We have to accept that the Prophet and the city are lost to us, and that we are now on our own. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll encounter some of these things. That's always the thing in these games. Supernatural creatures at the end. Break action shotgun. Oh yeah, we got the rifle unlocked as well. Okay, this is where we have to go. I see. Okay, so let's avoid this uh, part for now. Focus a bit more on like, you know, exploration, finding some items. Is this a chair we can sit at? No. go into this house though. There's some loot here. I'm just wondering if I should go back to some areas now that I have. Like we have the combat knife and the fire arrows so we could actually do quite a few things I think back in the older areas. But I think maybe we'll just go 
uh, boost the flow a little bit more and just make some more progress. Try to get more unlocked and then come back to some of those other areas and see what we can get. Or just do it like in between, but right now it would feel like odd, just story-wise, to like wander off and, you know, take care of some other things there. There's an explosive barrel, but... Can't do that. Hmm. I was wondering if it's gonna open up something. So shotgun is on the left side, right? Yeah, okay. Shotgun is pretty cool. It feels good in this game, too. Uh, let's put on the bow, though. Looks cooler. And eh, glitching through the walls already. <laughs> Oh man, this game. I don't think the first one had all these like janky animations and such, but maybe it did and I just don't remember. It's been a while since I played it of course. But it's just like, yeah, it's a bit weird. I'm really curious to see if the next one is a bit more polished, I guess. Maybe they ran out of time for this one, I'm not sure. Something must have happened. Can't go through there. There's a document though, where's that? Is that in the building? Uh, it's in this building, but... It's not a building I can enter. It's not a building from the other side either, so maybe we go like around it or something. Okay, and then here we can sneak through or something. I'm sure. Oh, this is where we came into, right? Yeah, okay. So we don't really want to go this way then. Um, okay, let's double check. Maybe I was able to get that document somehow. Maybe I just missed it. Because it should be on this side, but... Yeah, it's a dead house over there, which I can't enter from here. Might have to come back to it later. So I think the only way forward really at the moment is uh, there's also something there. No, uh, it's through the uh, the way we have to go to, I guess. So let's do it. Sounds like it hurts. Okay, that's too far away, so we can't quite make that challenge nearby. Okay, it's like a little secluded area. Oh, are there soldiers here? No, that's the people up there, okay. I think. I don't know, the music sounds a bit dramatic or something. It sounds like combat music again. Okay, there's a camp though. No enemies near the camp, please. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm gonna save this super quick because last time, it, like, it sometimes crashes for some reason. So I just want to make sure we don't crash again. Ideally, or if we do, the view from my tent, it won't be as bad. The dig looks so beautiful in the early evening when the last embers of the sunlight dying upon a good day's work. Then, one by one, the fires are lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafts across the camp. They tell me that it's guinea pig. I declined it. Roth ate too. Maybe next time I'll bring you out here too. How did your history test go? Those were my happiest memories, Dad. Being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. I liked that. Feeling that I was part of something important. I aced that test, by the way. Good job, Lara. I don't know what I want to get. Um, that's from above. We haven't really done any of these things, though. I mean, we haven't gotten this uh, skill, but I mean, like, we haven't... I don't think we've seen a case where this would be useful. We're leaping down on them from above, yeah. Uh, sounds good though, but I don't know if I want to get that. We could also get these dragonfire shells, but we have a lot of things to set things on fire with now, so I don't know how good that is. These might be kind of cool too. Or oh, actually, you know what? 
Increase the size and duration of the poison cloud. Those poison arrows are really good. I like them a lot, so I think we'll take those instead. Uh, oh yeah, and a shotgun upgrade. And then this is the DLC one, I guess, right? Har Harbinger. Oh, we can't take this one? No, we can. Is this a DLC one? I don't think we unlocked this one. But this one has way more damage, just not as fast. Oh, and before we do that, though, we got... Oh, it's an SMG that we unlocked. No, there we go. Bolt action rifle. So we got bows. Oh, no, we had this before. Right, right, right. And then we got the bolt action rifle. And I guess the gold fang is the same thing. So the gold fang is the same thing. It just looks different, right? Yeah, it's the same stats. Well, oh, it looks ugly, though. <laughs> I don't like this when the weapons are all gold. Cool. So this is a lot of damage, but of course, slow barrel extension. Uh... How useful is that going to be, though, really? Probably very... Yeah, I like snipers. I'm going to upgrade it. And I think I'm going to keep it, too. So we don't have the assault rifle right now. Revolver, semi-automatic pistol... I guess that's probably another pistol. Yeah, this one is the same as the one we currently have. What does it look like? Oh, it looks the same. It might have different upgrades, too. No, this one is the same ones. Do you want this one? It's just black. Nah, I'll take this one. It looks cooler. Okay, I think we're good. Um, maybe swap outfits, and this is usually where the game crashes, right? So, I kind of want to wear like a military one, like this one. Firing bolt, shell, sometimes won't reduce ammo count. Increase carrying capacity of our special ammo. Reduces the delay before health regen. Maybe this one? I mean, the effect is not amazing, but the outfit is kind of cool. Let's do that. Let's be a bit more like... You know, warrior military like. Looks cool. Has a purpose. Sure. Okay, so can we go into that tomb or is it blocked off too? It's like over this way. What's in this corner then? Oh, monolith. Can we read it? I can read this now. Nice. And it's pointing somewhere. Okay, coins caches. Not in this area though, but up there. Okay, what is that yellow resource? Oil? No, it's cloth. Oh, I do want that. It's up here. Yes. Oh, and a backpack. I probably missed a bunch of these backpacks already. In the past. Secrets revealed. Any secrets here? Nope. All the way back though. I'm sure we'll get them eventually. Um, let's see. I'm actually not quite sure how I'm gonna handle the, like, kind of like the post-game stuff, I guess. Like, we could play through this game, sort of story, right, and then be done with it. And maybe check out the VR stuff, the Croftman at least. Although I might not do it in VR, I'm not sure, because I don't have a good microphone to record VR stuff, unfortunately. I might have to look into that, I still have some time. Maybe I can find a good one before uh, I have to see something below here. But then, so I could keep playing afterwards and just try to get all the side quests and collectibles and stuff if I wanted to, right? I just don't know how interesting that's going to be. And also, you know, like the other two raiders around the corner. So, um, ideally I want to like upload all these videos and release them all before I start releasing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'll, I'll, I'll need, like, time to record anyway. Yeah, look, we need this, like, device for that. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's try this one. It doesn't have a very good zoom, though. Hmm. So we can't get into this tomb yet. Oh, actually, maybe we can. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we, how I'm gonna do that. If I want to keep, if I want to keep doing the, you know, the questing stuff afterwards or not. Or just jump into Shadow of the Tomb Raider right away. We'll see. We shall see. Like, I'll probably be done with this game before Shadow of the Tomb Raider comes out. That's the plan, so I can just jump right into it and play it myself. Um, and then while I'm playing it, this series is coming out over the, you know, all of those days. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's also a question, like, maybe I'll release both at the same time. Like, once I'm done with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, maybe I'll start uploading even if these episodes haven't been released yet. 
like all of them because like you know some people might already know this game and would prefer watching the other one so they can uh, we'll see or maybe I'll wait until this is done and such I don't know I'm just rambling I'm just like thinking about what I want to do I guess it's so weird to like do this though recording all these oh god these videos without uploading any of them before it's done it's super weird to me like it's so not so not used to it I guess no feedback no anything <laughs> it's kind of strange okay we can go through here nice ninja roll She looks so like advanced now with this outfit too. She's like level 50. Level 50 Lara. The most advanced Lara. Okay. Some light flickers over there. It's okay. Here we go. Ooh, this looks like a big area. This is a tomb, right? Yeah. Oh, is this an arena? Hmm. Some kind of burial chamber. Damn. A basket made of silver. Certainly meant to be decorative, but someone's been using it to carry grain. Okay. And then put it in a little box, as always. This looks uh, a bit creepy. I think we'll see a lot of this stuff in Shadow of the Tomb Raider because the Mayas, they uh, they love killing people, sacrificing them for the greater good. She's looking down there, so clearly there's something down there. Oh, this camp! Magnificent. <laughs> She's always so impressed when she finds these places. I like it. Okay, but she was still. Hold on a second. She was looking at stuff down here. I think is there something buried? What is she? Yeah, she's looking at something. Oh no, she's not. It's just my camera, I guess. She can, like, kind of track it. Okay, never mind. Thought there was something down here. Okay, so we got a camp. And then this is the actual tomb we have to explore. Okay, so this one pulls automatically. What if you pull this? What, what happens? It just breaks, okay. Kinda expected that. Okay, so this is gonna pull over a boat, and then I think we may have to No, I think it's gonna detach automatically. Someone broke into this place in the dead of night. They filled their pockets with coin turned over urns of oil and wine, and saw fit to show disrespect to all that are interred here. It shreds my heart to think that one of our own could be so callous as to desecrate this place, all for a momentary earthly gain. We must find a way to keep this place safe, even from our own brothers. There's a lot of traps. Th Thief Among Us was the, uh, the message. I wonder if that's like an uncharted reference or something. Um, okay, so that will pull me over there, and then not quite sure yet, but let's figure it out, damn it, once we're there, I guess. We could probably jump onto it somehow. Oh, we can also cut it. And then we go down the waterfall. No, we won't. Oh, we can't. Look at that boat, it's like almost tipping over. Oh shit, oh shit, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's bad. Goodbye, Lara. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> we haven't seen many death situations yet, though, so, you know. Gotta see some once in a while. That's, uh, that's not so great. Okay, so don't jump into the water. Very bad. It's very bad. Let's try my best to avoid it. Yeah. It's like a handbrake. Okay. Oh wait, we need to be closer to this. Not sure why. I feel I feel like this um, should have been enough to like pull it. But 
without having to like attach it to another thing. Oh, there's one over there too. Okay, but let's go to the center first. Let's wait a bit. There's another boat down there too. Interesting. Maybe that's the one we need next. We may be far from our home, but that does not make us barbarians. When our loved ones pass on, as far too many have this season, we treat them with respect. When we did not yet have a vineyard to produce wine, we washed the dead with lake water. When we lacked the looms to spin the death shroud, we wrapped our departed in skins and hides. We carried few coins with us, but now we forge our own so that our blessed dead can pay passage to the next world. I only wish that the price was not so high. Price of making currency? We have a bunch of coins. We should actually go back to that shop guy. Uh, okay, so we want to do this. Did the other boat disappear? I guess so, right? It probably broke. Oh no, it's there. Uh, I wonder if we can set that on fire. Okay. Oh, don't, don't move. Okay. And then we do. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, that one crashed. God darn it. Do we spawn? Where do we spawn? I hope not like. Okay, okay, good. Well, there's one over here. Oh no, that one is gone now too. Okay, whatever. So we gotta like time this a bit better, I guess. Oh, can I do this too? Maybe that's actually better. Then we just jump onto it. There's a loud car outside. Oh god. There we go. Oh no, 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 I, I, I was too far away. No, oh wait, this doesn't have a thing. No, it does at the front. God damn it. Yes, yes, yeah, seen it. <laughs> if only that had like more variety to it. Okay, hold on a second here. Yeah, it's at the front. I was just not standing close enough. And this one actually has a thing too. Oh, that's to cut it maybe, I guess? Yeah. I think it's the same type of boat. Okay, let's be here. There we go. That's better. Oh, that's gonna break. Oh, is it not gonna pull? Do we have to do this? Okay, maybe. Yeah, that one is actually not rotating. Okay. I see. It's a problem, isn't it? What's on here? Interesting. Did they embalm their dead? Yeah, people do that. Or used to do that. Oh, nice. It's right here. That was it. I thought there was more to it. It's always the same page, though. What did we learn? She didn't say anything this time. Anatomic knowledge. Oh, nice. Sense the location of animal hearts when using survival instincts or aiming at prey. Shots into animal hearts inflict massive damage. Animals with thick height, bear, uh, bears and large cats are immune to hard shots. Press R3 to activate survival instinct or hold L2 to aim at uh, animal to view hearts. That is cool, but I'm going to be honest here. Probably not going to be able to do that quite often. A golden chalice fit for a king or a prophet. It was made here in Katash. Fancy. Like, I usually miss these things. Okay, so there's uh, a way out there. I just want to go back a little bit. I think there's a uh, room down this way too, isn't there? Oh, this is like locked. No, it's just locked. Okay. Thought maybe you could get up there. And it also kind of looked like we could go over there to this side, but I guess not. So that's where the codex was. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay, that was different. Didn't like, you know, fall apart in little pieces. Like before. Oh, that's why, because it was like a secret wall. We couldn't see it from the other side, I guess. Okay, cool. 
What was that? Time to get out of here. Wait, was the campfire after this or like before this? I mean, like, is the campfire still gonna show up now or did we like go past it? I think we went past the campfire at this point. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe this is better anyway. Because I don't think there was a campfire back at where we have to go to, so. No point in teleporting there, although I do, like I said, would like to check out the shop maybe. Because there were some couple of upgrades we can get. We also still get a uh, grenade rifle, right? There was an upgrade for a grenade rifle. I'm not sure what button that will go. Probably the rifle button, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm wondering if I maybe shouldn't use the sniper rifle because... Um, well, I feel like in lots of combat it's not going to be... Maybe super useful having a sniper ish. It's not really a sniper though, it's a, it's a rifle, but still. But then again, we have the shotgun now, so maybe that's cool. Maybe we have a good weapon there to kill things with. Oh, wait, there's a campfire here, I forgot. Never mind. Could have done it faster, maybe. Uh, but in any case, here, let's double check. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's maybe go travel to. to that guy. How many, like, maps are there gonna be, I wonder? Like, is this all stuff too? Game can't be that long, can it? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's go back to the shop and see what he has for sale. Okay, we're back here. Oh yeah, we also get that broad arrow still. Geez, so many upgrades. Find any more of those gold coins? Yes. I think they're getting suspicious. I may need to vanish on short notice. So we could also buy different rifles and such. It's interesting, we could probably gotten, could have gotten the shotgun before we actually got the actual shotgun. So maybe some of these things are just to give you an advantage, like a little bit. Because here, where was that thing? Command outfit, is it this? Enhancement to upgrade tool that unlocks an additional tier of weapon. Oh, this is a different one. Unless they renamed that. I feel like that was the other tool before. Like, I think this is just to give you a bit of a head start. I'm not sure, though. Like, laser sight, I don't think really helps us. Commando outfit, isn't that what we wear currently? Probably not. It's probably different. And then this. Okay, you know what? I want to see what this is. Like, we can, like, upgrade our weapon more. I wonder if he could get this, though, throughout the game, too. But there's nothing else, really, I want to buy. And I'm going to be silly and buy this commando outfit, too. Okay, I wonder if that's any good. So now we should be able to upgrade our weapons again. Which is crazy. Yes, yes we can. So the bow, this one we can't because we don't have materials right now. More leather again. Uh, this one we could... Stabilizer and such, okay. Cool. Yeah, I bet you, you get them like throughout the game anyway, but still, it's kind of nice to have them... You know, maybe earlier. Let's see, rifle, nothing new. Shotgun we can do. Nice rhyme. So we can't upgrade any of these, <laughs> but we can do this one. Interesting. That's actually quite a bit of damage too. And then outfits. We got the commando. Uh, reduces the delay before health. Yeah, we already had that one. See, that's what's so stupid about this. Like, we just paid for an outfit we already had. Okay, great. It doesn't even look that cool, does it? Maybe. I'll take it for a while, because I paid for it. Ugh, okay. Well, do we want to upgrade something then? I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt getting this one. More damage, right? Sure. Okay, cool. But I think we're going to have to end the episode here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.